and family. Good afternoon, because it's afternoon here where we are right now. Um, it's a great team being here, and um, it's a nice team being here once again. I'm so grateful. Um, I'm Minister Tim. Welcome to your Magufa Wound International Ministry. Um, the, um, yeah, I'm so happy um, to share the word of God with you all today, and um, I'm so blessed because um, the Lord is a part, you know, to give us His word. You know, the Bible said His word is a light, and His word is a light that shines through us. So we cannot do without the word of God because the word of God is everything in our life. You know, so we always, you know, do what our Father asks us to do. Because the reward actually comes from Him, because He's the one that is going to reward us in all that we do. So that's why we are here to share the Word of God to you all and give you the Word and let you know what God is actually saying, the things that He's actually saying concerning our life, concerning our future, concerning our destiny, you know. So um, we're going to be taking our special for today, but before I do that, we just have to pray because we have to commit. Um, the presence of God, we have to um, welcome the presence of God here in our midst, you know, because we cannot do anything without the presence of God. So we have to welcome the presence of God, the presence of God here in our midst. So I just want us to share a short prayer before we go on with the word. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we thank you, blessed Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise of God because you are the everlasting God, the everlasting King. You are the beginning and the end of God. We thank you for your word that you're about to share with us today, oh God. Thank you for giving us your word because your word is a light and a life in our spirit, oh God. Father, let your word bless your people today in the name of our Lord Jesus and let your word transform your people today, your children, in the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, this word go out, oh God. Yes, so many lives will be changed and so many lives will be transformed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, blessed Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We wake on your presence yet in our midst, O oh God. Give it all the glory, O oh God. We exalt your holy name. We magnify your holy name, O oh God. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Welcome, family. Yeah, our Bible scripture is going for is going to, um is, is going is Isaiah. Our Bible scripture, sorry, our Bible scripture for today is Isaiah. 43 18. So I will take the scripture. It said, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. I'll take it again. It said, Remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. You can see what this scripture is actually saying here. What this scripture is actually telling us today. Um, because the Lord is going to do a new thing in somebody's life today. He's going to do a new thing in somebody's life today. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So our Bible scriptures today is I will do a new thing. The Lord said that he will do a new thing in your life and forget about the old. Praise the Lord. Because when we come to Christ, uh, because that's why the Bible says, Seek ye the kingdom of God first, and every other and righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. You know, when we come to Christ, all things have passed away, and all things have become new. So that's why, you know, we as a Christian, uh, it's good to say the prayers of salvation for those who are not born again. But those for those who are born again that have set Christ into their life, the Lord has done a new thing in your life already, you know? He has done a new thing, a new beginning for you today. He has done a new thing, a, a new thing in your life because a new thing is about to begin in your life for you today, you know? Because that's what the scripture is actually saying here. 
you know because so many of us we have go through a lot in life through a lot some so many things uh, in life you know circumstances and challenges and other things you know but the lord is telling us today that he's going to do a new thing no matter what we have gone through no matter what we have been through in life no matter the challenges and the situation that we have been through in life but the lord is actually telling us right now that he's going to do a new thing in our life today he said we should forget a body hold we should forget a body hold. You know, we should forget a body past because that is our past. Because now all things are beginning to turn around in our life because things are beginning to turn new right now in our life today. So we don't have to remember what you have been through because that's all the enemy does. You know, it will bring your past life, what you have been through. It will bring it to your memory. You know, by the time you start thinking about those things, the, the challenges that you've been through, the circumstances that you've been through, you find out that your spiritual life will begin it will begin begin to go down because the devil wants to attack your spiritual life. You know, so that's why we we don't need to give him that breathing space. We don't need to give him that chance you know for him to come in to bring us down you know that was that what the bible said the devil come to stay to kill and to destroy because that is his mission that is the mission that it actually you know came to do here on earth to destroy god's children so we are not going to give him that space that chance for him to penetrate into our life you know to destroy what god is about to do in our life you know so that's why we are not giving him any british space you know, so that's why the Lord said it's going to do a new thing in your life. He said he will do a new thing in your life because that's what he said. He said, remember yet not the former things, neither consider the hold, neither consider the things of the hold. Behold, I will do a new thing. And now it shall, now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. I will even make a way in the wilderness. I will even make a way. When you think that there's no hope, when you think that all hope is lost, you know, you have lost so many things, uh, so many things that you need to be achieving in your life. You know, you have lost so many things in your life. You feel that there's no hope, you know. You feel that, ah, uh, uh, my life has come to an end. I don't have any hope in me. But the Lord is telling you, said, He will make a way. Because he's the God that make a way when there is no way. He said he will make a way for you. He will make a way for you in every aspect of your life. So that's why we need to come closer to God. We need to have this uh, relationship, one-on-one -on -one relationship with Christ every day in our life. You know, we don't need to be far from him. We don't need to be far from the Father. We don't need to be, be far from him. We should come close to him all the time. You know? We should come close because he wants us to come close to him so that we can fellowship, we can have this one-on-one -on -one relationship, this one-on-one -on -one interaction with him. You know, by the time you fellowship with your father and you take your challenges, your situation to him, you bring it on, on front, in front of him and you go on your knees and pray towards him. Let me tell you, the Lord is going to turn your life around. It's only when you are lazy, you don't want to pray because the Lord will not know what you're actually asking for. Or what you want in your life. So that's why we need to let our life to be an everyday prayer. Because we cannot do without prayer. You know, prayer is our everyday life. Because that's what God has actually called us to do. To pray all the time. Because if the kingdom of darkness cannot rex, if the kingdom of darkness is out there looking for who to destroy, then why we as a Christian, we have to rest. While we are, we as a Christian, we have to give up. We can never give up. Since the kingdom of darkness is not going to rest, we don't have to rest. We have to stand in our feet to destroy the kingdom of darkness. We have to stand on our feet to pray. Our life should be an everyday prayer. That should be our life. There's no time to relax. There's no time to rest. There's no time to like, you know, you are so weak to pray because the devil is always attacking the Christians. He's always attacking their spiritual lives so that they, uh, um, they cannot stand up to pray. That's why you find out that so many Christians, they are going through what they are going through in life today because they, they are so lazy to pray because they cannot pray. 
because they are so weak to pray because they have given the enemy chance to attack their spiritual life and the devil is really 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 attacking their lives their spiritual life their spiritual growth that's why you find out that things are not working the way things are supposed to be working in their life that's why you find out that you know when they have opportunity a job opportunity or when they, they want to promote them to a certain level in life the enemy will come to take that promotion out of them the enemy will come you know to, to destroy that opportunity because there are so many god's children who have had this opportunity to become great in life to become mighty in life to become because what God actually wanted to be in life, but just because they are so lazy to pray, they cannot pray, just because they have given the enemy a chance to, to take over their life, you find out that they cannot move forward, they cannot go forward, you find out they will be stuck in one place. So that's how we have the Holy Spirit in us. That's how we have the Holy Spirit in us. That the Holy Spirit is there to comfort us, is always there to tell us what to do. If only we can give Him a chance, if only we can allow Him to take over our life, if only we can commit ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Because this is what the Lord has called us to do. We don't have any other life to live in this earth, you know. So we have to take that step. We have to come to Christ and let Christ take over our life and let Christ transform our life so that He will do a new thing for us in our life today. Because He wants to do a new thing for your life. He wants to do a new thing in your life today. He wants to pour out His blessing. He wants to pour out His grace, His favor. He wants to make a way for you. He wants to promote you to a certain level, to a greater level in life. He wants to take you out of that hole that you have been in. He wants to raise you up. He wants to lift you high above your enemy. So that's why we have to come closer to Him. Because He's our Savior. He's our everything that we need in our lives today. And I pray that so many people that will be listening to me, and I pray that your life will never remain the same after you've heard this word. Your life will be transformed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because the Lord is about to do a new thing for you today in the name of our Lord Jesus. What the Lord is about to do for you, the enemy cannot steal it away from you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatsoever the enemy have planned, whatsoever the enemy, whatsoever they have gathered in their coven, they say you will not succeed in life, they say you will not make progress in life, they say you will not move forward in life. Father, I come against their plan this minute, this hour, in the name of our Lord Jesus, because their plan will be scattered, their plan will be destroyed, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That some of you, you're about to get you're about to the, 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 you're about to get a promotion or you're about to move from one level to a greater level, but you find out that things are not working at the way that things are supposed to be working. You find out that you know you 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 you're, you're just been so stuck in one place, you are not moving forward, you are not going forward. That is the plan of the enemy, that is the plan of the devil. He just wants you to be stuck in one place, he don't want you to move forward. But the Lord is telling you now that He is about to do a new thing in your life today every kingdom of darkness that is holding you down that is pulling you forth we come against it right now in the name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth every kingdom of darkness that don't want you to move forward we break it and destroy it right now in the name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth the devil cannot hold you down it cannot tie your destiny down he's not your creator he's not the one that creates you it's not the one that will bring you into this health. It's not the one that will decide what your future will be. So that's why we need to allow Christ to take over our life. The Christ is the holy way. Without Christ, there's no way. Without Christ, there's no other way. Christ is the only way. It's the reason why we are living here. We God's children, we have gone through a lot. Through a lot. But it's our time to put the devil to where it belongs. It's our time to rise up in our feet, to stand in our ground by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's that time that we need to realize all these things. By the time we have the understanding of all these things, we find out that things will begin to work out for us. Things will begin to turn for around in our life 
things we begin to, to things we begin to manifest in our life. We just need to have the understanding of God, who God really is. By the time you have the understanding of who God is in your life, you find out that your life will be transformed, your life will be renewed. So that's what we have to do. Because there are so many people today, they are nowhere to be found. They are nowhere. You see, find out, you, you find out that people that are doing well in life, they are doing well all of, all of a sudden, things will just go down. But they don't, they, you will be so surprised, what is happening, what is going on? I was doing well before, things was working out well for me before. But what happened, all of a sudden, all, all of a sudden things just went down. That is the enemy. Because he don't want to see God's children progress. He don't want to see God's children succeed in life. So that's why the Lord is actually telling us now that he will do a new thing for us. He's about to do a new thing for you. He's about to turn your situation around. He's about to take you to that level where you want to be. If only you open your heart and allow him to come, allow him to come inside you. If only you can stand up in your feet and stand up and take the challenge. If only you can stand up and pray and destroy the kingdom of darkness. Because the kingdom of darkness don't rest. They are looking for who to destroy. So that's why we as a Christian, we don't have to rest. We have to destroy the kingdom of darkness. The only way you can succeed in life, the only way you can move forward in life is when you pray. Is when you pray. Because that's one thing the enemies are afraid for. Prayer. Because that is our weapon. Prayer is all that we need in our life. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, when you pray in the Holy Ghost, the devil is confused. He don't know what you're saying. When you pray, you are doing things are happening in the spiritual reign. Things are happening in the spiritual reign. If you want to see change in your life, you have to pray. You have to change things in the spiritual reign before things will begin to manifest in the physical reign. So that's why we need to pray. Prayer should be in our everyday life. Let us change things in the spiritual reign. Then in the physical reign, then things will begin to change. In the physical reign, you're beginning to see that changes. You're beginning to see that transformation. You're beginning to see things working out for you. Because why? You have changed things in the spiritual reign. If you don't pray, how do you expect things to be changed in the spiritual reign? Because the life we are living in right now, we are living in a spiritual world, not in a physical world. In a spiritual world, not in a physical world, because we operate in the things of the spirit. We control things in the spirit of the spirit, in the spirit of the spirit. We change things in the things of the spirit. So if you want to change any situation, if you want to change any circumstances, you have to change things first in the realm of the spirit before it starts manifesting in the physical. This should be our life. Prayer should be our life. We don't need to joke with prayer. We don't need to jump with our lives, you know. If we're beginning to like, you know, give the enemy chance, there's no way we can grow. But we have to stand and begin to change things in the spirit reign. I hope this word will bless somebody today because the Lord is about to do a new thing for you in your life today. There's a new beginning for you today in the name of our Lord Jesus. The enemy cannot hold you. The devil cannot hold you down. The enemy cannot pull you down. They don't have power over you. You have power over them. It cannot pull you down. It cannot hold you. cannot decide how your future, how your destiny will be for you. Because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. If any man be in Christ, is a new creation. All things have passed away and all things have become new. All things have become new. Your finance has become new. Your job has become new. Your home, your marriage, everything has become new in your life. Everything that is around you has become new. Father, we thank you. We give it all the glory. We give it all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. 
We thank you for your word. We thank you for all that you're doing for us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, because yes, we know that the kingdom of darkness has been destroyed. We know that the kingdom of darkness cannot take a hold all over us, oh God. We thank you, blessed Father, because your word says that we have the light of the world, Father. We thank you, oh God, because we stand by your word for your word, for what your word says concerning us, oh God. Things will begin to change in our life and from today go in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There shall be a new thing in our life and from today export in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In every era of our lives, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there shall be a transformation in the spiritual reign in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against every stronghold of the enemy. We come against every stronghold of Satan in the name of our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pull the devil for to where his blood in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Masha kato soko pani hira na mash. Likado saka tada na mane. Rigado shaka pani hira na masaka. Rababu shaka pani hira na mande. Rikabo saka na 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 masha. Ikabo soka pani na mane. There's a new beginning for us today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there's a new beginning in our lives today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there's a new beginning in our job, in our business in our home, in our marriage, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, blessed Father. Because the kingdom of darkness has been destroyed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, blessed Father. in a no shaka dalaba, Rikoso Pari Hirama, Radika Tanaba, Radika Dalaba, Iko Shaka Baba 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 Saka Tanaba. Somebody's life is about to renew right now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Makusa Pare, Ika no Shaka Dalaba, Radu Saka Pala Ramanda, Iko So Pari Hirama, Raka Dalaba Shaka Dalaba, Iko Saka. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. The Lord is doing a new thing in somebody's life right now. The Lord is doing a new thing in somebody's life right now. There's a turn around in somebody's life right now. You will be going through a lot in life. You, you will be going through so many challenges in your life. But the Lord said, I should tell you that he's doing a, he's a, he's doing a new thing in your life right now. You see, there's a new beginning that's about to take place in your life right now. The Lord said, I should tell you, I don't know who that person is. You're about to give up. You're tired. You've put your hand in so many things, but it's not working out for you. You have tried so many things, but it's not working out for you. You feel like giving up, but the Lord said you should not give up. That a new thing is taking place in your life right now. There's a new beginning for you in your life right now. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration of God. We thank you for your word that you're giving us. We thank you because your word will change us and it will change us forever, God. Your word will transfer us. It will transfer us to a greater level in life, oh God. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We exalt your holy name. We magnify you, O oh Lord. We praise you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. 
If you know something has happened to you right now, say hallelujah. If you know a new beginning of steps in your life right now, say hallelujah. Because there's a, new, there's a new beginning for you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I just want to thank you all. I just want to say we love you so much. We always pray for you. Oh, we keep praying for you. And I just want to say, um, if you know you're not born again, you have to give your life to Christ. Because that's the holy way to benefit from this new thing that the Lord is about to do for us. That the Lord has done already in our life. If you're not born again, just say this. It's a simple prayer. Just say that. Just say this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I welcome you into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you. I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. I turn my life to you right now. Lead me in the right paths to follow. Lead me in the way to go. I want to follow you for days of my life, all the days of my life. Be the Lord of my life. Be the God of my life. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. I just want to thank you all. Um, I just want to appreciate every one of you. And um, I believe um, tomorrow, I'm going to be here. We're going to be here tomorrow. Um, because this week is going to be a great week and this week is going to be a wonderful week I'm telling you because the Lord is doing a great thing in our life this week so the Lord has started doing a great thing in our life already and every member of the ministry the Lord has started doing a new thing for you in your home, in your marriage in every era of your life already in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I thank you all and I welcome you all please if you know you have not subscribed if you the first time of being here, please don't forget to subscribe and God bless you. I'll see you soon.